Hey guys, Dave from WP Smackdown here, and today I just want to talk uh, for a couple of minutes about Twitter embeds. So this is taking content from Twitter and embedding it directly onto your website. People can interact with the tweet or the moment or the timeline, whatever it is you want to take from Twitter. Your users on your website will be able to interact with it just as they were if it were they were on the Twitter website. So they'll be able to follow different users, they'll be able to like and retweet things directly from your website. So a few new things have been added for WordPress 4.5, but let me just briefly recap something that we've been able to do for a while in WordPress now, and that's just embedding a simple tweet. So let's do that first. I'm going to jump over here to twitter.com and I'm going to go to the WordPress page and I want to embed this tweet from WordPress about the release candidate being available. So if you hover over this date right here, you can copy the link address and that'll actually be the exact status for this tweet or you can simply click on it and then you'll notice the URL changes. So this is the URL that I want to grab. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that to my clipboard, come back over to my WordPress site and all you have to do is paste that on a brand new line. And as soon as I do that, you'll see here's the embedded tweet. So that's nothing new. We've been able to do that for a while. But in WordPress 4.5, now we can embed Twitter moments and curated Twitter timelines. So let's take a look at that. So for a Twitter moment, I'm going to go to Twitter's homepage. And if you come up here in the top navigation and click on moments, then you'll get a list of all the different moments that are going on right now, and you can click on one to choose one. So I've chosen one about March Madness, the national championship game. And you'll notice you've got a URL up here with the unique string for this particular moment. So I'm going to copy that entire URL, just like we did for the embedded tweet. And same thing, just make sure you're on a new line, and go ahead and paste. And here is that entire moment you'll see with different video and images and articles and all kinds of tweets all related to the national championship game for March Madness. And the last one which is very similar is a timeline. Um, it's done in much the same way. I will post a new video about how to actually create a Twitter timeline, but you can do that through TweetDeck or by going to curator.twitter.com and then you can set up a timeline of specific tweets that you've hand selected and ordered just how you want them to be ordered. Um, you do that and you get this timeline by going to publish.twitter.com. You can post that URL in here and then it'll give you an embed code. But There's even an easier way. So once you have this URL and I've created one, so I've got a specific URL for my timeline right here. Just like we've been doing, I come back over to WordPress and just paste it on a new line. And there is that specific Twitter timeline that I've created. So WordPress 4.5 even takes Twitter to uh, another level here, allowing us to do moments and timelines in addition to just tweets. And that's just uh, another one of the awesome features in WordPress 4.5. If you guys have any questions, please post something in the comments and I will help you out. But that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you would like more free tips and tutorials on how to get the most out of WordPress, go ahead and click subscribe here on the screen, and we'll see you next time.